Trying to think about something else It's not going so well You don't know what you do to me Or do I just do it myself? prenatal vitamin just because I'm not like actively you know trying to get pregnant or anything like that but I liked the ingredients of it um, so, and I went and I just liked it so um, I stopped taking it though because they increased their prices you guys and it was like almost it used to be like $30 a month and I was like it's expensive for a vitamin and then they increased the price and I was like you know what this is a little crazy um, I understand that like, most of their stuff is very well sourced, but it just felt, it felt a little crazy. So I'm um, just taking my, um, vitamin D3 5,000 international units every day right now, but, um, I make myself a matcha this morning. I got like actual matcha. I got an actual matcha bowl, an actual matcha whisk. And yesterday was like my first day making it and it was really good. I made it hot. I think I'm gonna make it ice today because it is so hot in Florida right now. Anyway, it's Friday. I have my long weekend. Thank God we made it here. This week itself was so long. But Seth is, has been out of town this week. He was he's been on a cruise for he's a senior class sponsor for his school. So he's been there, so it's just been me all week. He comes back tomorrow. Um, but today we have some things planned, not much that I have to do. I have an electrician coming out today to take a look at a uh, thing outside, a plug-in outside that's not working. And I want to get, we're putting like a little pool out there. So we need to have it like be a high functioning outlet and it's not. So he's coming by and then I'm actually going to camp, which is a big like workout place in Tampa. I'm going there with a friend for a workout this evening and then Seth comes home tomorrow so I'm excited for him to come home I don't have like a ton of plans this weekend I don't really have a ton of work that I need to do so it's gonna be fun but let me show you guys how I make the matcha I got this Naoki matcha from Amazon and it's said to keep it in the fridge so that's where I am keeping it I did one teaspoon of matcha yesterday which I actually thought was pretty good but with making like iced drinks, I just feel like they melt so fast. I might do two. I'm gonna do one and a half. <gasps> Shoot, I forgot the first step. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, so actually I have a sifter that I came with. That I put it through there to get all the clumps out. So we're gonna do like one and a half teaspoons. And then you like sift it through and see all those clumps that are coming out. I will break those up too, just so I don't waste anything. I probably put about a fourth of a cup of hot water into one teaspoon, maybe a third of a cup. I'm all about eyeballing things in the kitchen so that you, I don't know, I don't love like measuring, measuring. I like to add it to the hot mixture because then it dissolves really quickly. 
really easily. And then we're just gonna get our oat milk ready with some ice and pour it over. Isn't this not the cutest cup you've ever seen? I get all of these little cups with the cute little designs on them from Anthropology. They're so cute. My oat milk in there. Look at that. So pretty. Also, got the cutest straws. Cute, like, little glass straws. They have, each have little um, designs on them. Oh, they're all flowers, but they're, like, really cute. I just think that matcha is so pretty. I've said it, but the reason I'm drinking matcha is because I've just had a terrible coffee aversion. Oh, my God. So good. And then I'm gonna take you guys outside because we have a new little update to the outside area. We'll drink our coffee. I'm actually gonna grab my ice roller too. Okay, <laughs> this is the little setup. This needs to be trimmed so bad, but then I got these two chairs from um, Target. And it's just so nice to like lounge in the yard. We need to throw all the boxes away, but I need Seth's help for that. And then the and then the little pool is going to end up going over here, I think. So we'll clean up this area, but it's going to be so cute. And we might move these over to like the pool area when we're using them. I don't know. It's just so cute. I love them. I'm actually going to get ready to go on a hot girl walk, <laughs> if you will. It is it's almost 9.30. I don't know what time this guy is coming. I know that they gave me like a broad time range and it doesn't say in the text message, but I'm sure I wrote it down in my planner actually when I called. So I'm going to look, but I want to say it was around like 11. So we're going to um, a, what class is it? Oh, an ass and abs class. We were originally going to do like a hip hop yoga flow or something but then we changed it to an ass and abs class so that should be fun i don't know i hate doing legs i actually skipped leg day one of my leg days this week because i knew that this was probably going to kill me i hate doing leg day so i didn't want to do it like three times and then i'm also going to yoga tomorrow and i feel like Whenever I go to a yoga class, they either pick upper body to kill or lower body to kill. And I mean, they do a bunch of, at my yoga studio, they do a bunch of <clears throat> like full body stuff. Like it's very full body, but it's usually more focused on either the upper body or the lower body. So who knows what they're going to pick tomorrow. So I was like, let me just skip at least leg day because if it's my arms, I think it's just because I like personally doing arm day. I will do it even if I'm sore, but if I'm doing, if I do too many leg days and I'm too, and I'm really sore, I'm like in a bad mood. And I also never work out my abs except for at my yoga class, so it should be a fun class. Oh, I'm really excited because you guys know, I think I said, I've said in one of my last videos that we are redoing our kitchen. However, our house that we currently live in, we bought it five years ago this year, and our intention was always, sorry, somebody's probably dropping off a package or something, or literally like the kids are biking to school in our neighborhood. Oh, when we bought this house, we really only thought we would be here for about three to five years, but then obviously COVID happened, and the market went crazy and it's ridiculous to buy a house here in Florida. Like it's always been expensive. Um, but now you're talking like the house, the houses that we like or like would want to move into being like a million dollars. And like, I don't really think they're worth a million dollars. So we have like a three bedroom home right now. And I would just die to have like a big backyard pool. I would like to have four bedrooms. Um, and anyway yeah so this is not like we're not going to be in this house forever but we do plan on owning it forever because we got a great deal on it our mortgage is great our interest rate is great so we're gonna just keep it and probably rent it out in the future 
so I have to like reel myself in a little bit when I'm talking about redoing our kitchen because this is not my dream kitchen. This is going to be a very functional kitchen that I really like, um, that is neutral, but I also do want to bring in some color to it. I don't want it to be just all white and bland, but it's not going to be my like my dream kitchen essentially. My dream kitchen is like wood countertops. I love wood countertops and colored cabinets and maybe some kind of like funky um, backsplash with like either black or gold appliances and a nice big, what are those things called that like go over the oven? I don't remember what they're called, but they're like fans, like vents, air vents or something like that. Um, and like all wood in my kitchen all wood in the kitchen like a, um the kitchen floor but right now like we're redoing you guys know i hate like the black and white um flooring that is in my kitchen i don't i hate it i think it looks like a pizza parlor and that's just not my vibe um but i would love to have wood there however we have wood in the rest of our house but it's a dark wood and i don't hate it but it's not my favorite so i don't want to so my dream would be to have wood flooring in my kitchen but i'm not going to put this dark wood in my kitchen because i think it's too much and i'm not going to replace the entire house wood floor just because i didn't like just because i really wanted it to be in a kitchen if that makes sense so we're going with just a white tile but anyway what i was getting to is on monday we are going to pick out like the tile and the colored cabinets we have like kind of a draw up of everything and like the price ranges and stuff like that and i've already signed the agreement but on monday seth and i are going to actually pick out the tile pick out the backsplash pick out the cabinets so that should be fun i'm not like waiting for monday because then my day's off will be over though <laughs> you know the like short pants i feel like i haven't yet worn short pants i haven't yet worn like my shorts yet this season i usually from like this time of year until i want to say november i'm wearing these because it's just too hot uh to wear like actual leggings but this is a set from sarah's day white fox collection i don't think it was her last launch but i think it was the one before and it's super cute it's not like super functional i'll be completely honest like this like these are super functional but the top is not super functional i mean it fits pretty well but like I'm not going to the gym and I'm not going to yoga typically in this, but it's great for walking. So we're gonna get a walk in, get some tanning in. Yeah. Okay, it has been a little bit. We have been busying ourselves around the house because the electricity guy has still not come. It's supposed to come between the hours of 11 and two. And it's like, of course it's like 1.15 right now. And he hasn't come so now i'm like is he going to be able to fix this today <sighs> who knows but anyway i'm working on some stuff outside i'm just grabbing something I'm grabbing my little green bissel because i want to clean off our outdoor couch just finished that class up with my friend oh my god it was so hard so hard i just don't do workouts like that you know it was like more Pilates style like it was quick 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 um it was the ass and abs um class at camp it was really good like I I enjoyed it but it was hard so no I think I'm just gonna head home I was thinking about running to the mall because I really want to try on a house of CB dress because I'm thinking about maybe buying one for Europe so maybe we might do that because the traffic's really bad. So like I might as well go to the mall, right? Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning. I am just at the park with my dogs. I'm just chilling in the car. They're like running around. They're, this is not the park. This is my husband's school. I just always say the park. I don't know why, but it's just my husband's school. And we just bring them here. It's all fenced in and they can run around and be crazy. And I can just like chill. Hey, sweetie, are you having fun? Don't spill the water. <laughs> um, I'd like to be forward, but I just don't know how. video 
though has been me sitting in this exact same spot um, and it's been a little bit since I talked to the camera but this morning we did our usual ritual of going and getting bagels and then I got a matcha from there's like a new coffee shop on the channel side Tampa area it's called shortwave coffee and it's really good um, I have got a matcha from there and it was really good but now I need to edit my YouTube video that is going up today I post a YouTube video every Sunday evening um, sometimes it goes up on Monday but most of the time it goes up on Sunday evening and I'm going to do a little bit of tanning out here while I edit that video and get it posted I am on my monthly cycle you guys and my period has been so bad like my cramps woke me up out of the middle of the night last night I had to take ibuprofen which that hasn't happened to me in forever so um Seth always says it's mad at me for not getting pregnant <laughs> which would be correct so anyway I'm just gonna edit this yesterday I we went to we ended up going to the beach yesterday evening which I'm sad I forgot to bring my camera and vlog it I did take a few pictures and videos on my phone so maybe I will have imported some clips but we had saw a really pretty sunset and then got some impossible burgers came home and like literally went to bed so it was perfect little evening date and we're just now doing like Sunday things laundry tidying up um, that type of thing so yeah, enjoying my restful Sunday with my clean house. I just wrapped up editing the vlog and it just made me realize how incredibly difficult it is to film, like, to film these week in my life. I, I actually, I'm, I'm not proud of putting this video out, not this one currently, but the one that I put up beforehand because I don't, it's literally me in the car talking and in my opinion i hate it i and i hate <laughs> this is sounds so bad because it's my video but i hate listening to myself talk in the car i need to make a rule that i'm not allowed to bring my vlog camera out in the car it bothers me so much but it's so difficult and i'm not complaining at all but it's so difficult to vlog week in my life while also making like content for the week for my tiktok because i post on social on tiktok like every day but then i post on youtube like once a week and it's so difficult to do both and like get good content and i'm not happy with this vlog that i did and it's because it's all of the content is literally me just like telling what i'm doing and not actually showing it so it's something that i'm going to try to work on a goal of mine is to just bring my camera in a purse with me and whip it out all the time so that i'm actually showing what i'm doing and not just talking about what i'm doing so it's something that i've noticed in my content which this is still kind of new for me i'm definitely not a pro i i want to get better at it because i'm so grateful that this is something that i get to do and something that people enjoy watching but god i have to work on it like i have to work on my content I'm making my thumbnail right now and I make all of my thumbnails on Canva Pro because it's so easy. I just have a template that I use and I literally just change a few things because I do like week in my life, weekend in my life. I like to alternate them and then I download it. This is my husband's computer, by the way, which I think I've said before. I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what type of computer I want to get. Or I have a computer, but the storage is like pretty non-existent on it. I just saved this. I have a little file that I made on his computer. And then this video is not going to take very long. That scared me. And then I will just upload it here. And this is like the upload time. It takes way longer than 22 minutes. It's probably going to take another hour and a half, but... We'll just chill here while it does that. On Friday afternoon after my workout video, I mean, after my workout class, I went to the mall. I think I showed you guys that. And I picked up just two things, a skirt from Zara that I have yet to try on. But then I also picked up these longer pants or shorts from Abercrombie because I thought they would be really cool for the summer. I sort of like their Bermuda style pants, but I don't like them to be super baggy. I do think these would be cuter if they were like low waisted. But they didn't have any like i couldn't find any low-waisted ones 
and I have a pretty like long torso so I guess I could just sh like shut them like make them shorter I mean make them longer let's see like I could wear them like this and they'd be more mid-rise but anyway I thought these are cute I had to change out the laundry We decided to take the boys to the park, so I just finished a load of laundry, and then this is what I'm wearing to the park. <laughs> I look like a little boy, but it's okay. They are gonna have so much fun, and I'm just going to sit in the car and plan out our week of meals while I do that, and Seth's gonna be with me for company. I wanted to show you guys, this is how I meal prep for the week. It's very simple. I basically just pick four things for dinners. So this week, we are making kale crunch salad, some type of pasta that I found online, cowboy caviar and hot honey pasta. And then I typically figure that I'll have leftovers from at least one of these. Like the hot honey pasta we usually have leftovers with, the cowboy caviar we have leftovers with. Um, this pasta I'm sure we will as well. So I will eat that for lunch and typically one other day during the week for dinner. So it gives us, um, I spelled cavatappi wrong, cavatappi. I don't know how to spell that. So it gives us plenty of options for the week. And then I just write out all the ingredients that I need. This doesn't include breakfast stuff, which is what I typically just grab breakfast type stuff and berries and any type of fruit that we want, any extra vegetables. I will just grab that when I'm in the, at the grocery store. And please ignore me not being able to spell certain things. Nice. <laughs> oh my word. Honey, are you gonna want to eat dinner tonight? Are you? I think so. I can make something light. Okay. I think I'm gonna make that kale, wait. It's not kale crunch salad. Cause I don't have any kale. It'll be some type of salad. Yeah, there's a few burnt pieces of cashew in there, but they add to the flavor. Oh, I love it. I think it looks great. Come in. Feed the dog. Everyone have a moment of I uh, have been awake for like 20, 30 minutes, but I had a call this morning with a brand um, that I'm working with. Uh, this brand is actually like originated in Paris. It did, I can tell you guys, I'm working with Typology, uh, which is a skincare slash like makeup brand. However, their products are very like skincare based and I love them. I love their products so much. I'm working with them on TikTok and um, I use like their skin tint right now, which feels like just, it's a vitamin C serum actually. It just gives your skin like a really nice tint. And then um, their concealer, which has like caffeine in it. And I think she said some niacinamide as well. And then the lip oil, and then they're sending me their bronzing oil and they're sending me um, their um, lash products to use. So all of their, I love their products and I loved working with this like European company because it's so cool and different from a lot of the other companies that I work with. Like the products, she's like, if you don't like any of the products, like just feel free not to use them. Just let me know. Um, she's like, good morning, honey. Baby, you're naked. Anyway, before my husband interrupted me, I was saying that I really enjoy their products. And because it's made in France, their um, products are like much better than us, than those made here in the US. So it makes it even better. But anyway, they were super like lax on like, oh yeah, like if the product, you know, the content's due like sometime in June, it really doesn't really matter in June. We just want it to feel very like authentic. We want you to have time to sit with the product and feel it and make like content that feels really good for you. And I was like, this is amazing. You acted like I didn't exist all morning. Hoosier, that's not very nice. I walked right past my door when I was getting ready and then went back <laughs> once you got a drink. Never even said 
said hi. Who sure you have to say good morning. morning? She said I just really want to see my mom because I know she's gonna leave. I'm not going nowhere, Bubba. We can be together all day. The current problem that I have is leaving absolutely everything until my last day off to do. Um, I just am so bad at doing that. And then it creates a very hectic last day off. So we are going to do a little hack right now, which I think it's called like well, actually, I don't think it's called anything. I've seen people call stuff like this habit stacking, but I'm not habit stacking. I'm really just multitasking. <laughs> so I'm telling you guys the hack of multitasking. I am about to put a toner in my hair. You guys know I tone my hair quite frequently because of dyeing it blonde for years. It gets kind of red at the bottom and I hate it. So we're gonna put this toner in and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh my God, I'm almost out. Okay, I'm only gonna be able to do like my ends then, which is fine. But while I put this toner, well, I mean, while I let this toner sit, we are going to do things that I need to do. So I need to pick up the outside a little bit from when we gave the dogs a bath yesterday. I need to put away my laundry. I did laundry last night and I haven't put away my clothes yet. I need to make the bed and I want to pick up the kitchen a little bit. So I don't know. I only have 15 to 20 minutes, so that might not be long enough to do all of that stuff, but we are going to try and then I will wash this out. I have so much stuff on my list of to do's today. Oh goodness. It's okay. I'm just grateful, honestly, to have this day off. I am trying a new thing called positive tea. <laughs> I was just thinking last night about life and I am such a glass half empty person. I just always have been. I, I don't know, it's just my nature to be very glass half empty. So naturally on days like today, everything like, oh my God, only am Today's my last day off. I have so much stuff I have to do. I need to like stop working full time so that I'm able to do all this stuff. But I'm like, I really don't because I've been, I've been working full time and handling this. So I don't really need to stop. Like let's reframe the work. I want to stop. That's the thing. I want to be at home more. I want to be able to focus more on content, but I don't feel like my content is at the stage where it absolutely requires me to have to focus on it more. So I am working on reframing my thought process in regards to that. Oh my gosh, I do not have enough to really do this. One side of my hair is going to be darker than the other. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this all around in there. So on my list of things to do today includes getting my passport refilled out. I'm not sure if you guys saw or if I told you guys about kind of the drama with my passport. I attempted to do this right before we went to Mexico, like get my passport all figured out because I never changed my maiden name on my passport. So when we traveled to Mexico, I just brought my um, marriage certificate and I brought my and I brought my passport and everything was fine. However, we're going to Europe in July and I just want to have my passport updated with my married name just so that everything, like I know everything is gonna go smoothly. So I need to do that. Oh, what I was saying is, however, and I sent, I filled out both mine and Seth's paperwork and they didn't do mine. They sent back a voided check saying like, please fill this out correctly. And like, I know I filled it out correctly because I filled out Seth's and they, did test and he got his passport. But his was most important because his was expired. So it was most important. So I have to do that today. We, what else do I have to do? I need to, 
I need to film some stuff just to get ahead to have a few videos already planned out for already done for this week. I like to do that. And we have a water guy coming to look at our water softener. He said he's going to be here anywhere from 10 to 12. So that gives me a good period of time being at home to accomplish that stuff. I also need to send back some stuff from a Princess Polly order that I placed. I don't love everything, so I need to send back some of that stuff. And I have everything written down. I already finished my call that I had to do this morning. I, oh, and then we're going to Tampa this e afternoon because we're going to look at tile and backsplash and cabinets. And then I'm going to go to Trader Joe's after that. And then we're going to make a healthy dinner. Uh, okay, maybe that's all I need to do. So not super overwhelming. I'm kicking myself because I just finished eating breakfast and I forgot to show you guys it. And it is the best um, little breakfast. I love it. So I did take pictures and videos because I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day on TikTok today. I made a little like breakfast banana split. It was so good. I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. Basically, I guess an undone yogurt bowl. So if you're going to work, you could just pack this stuff in like a bowl and it would be perfect. But I used one full banana, cut it into slices, and then I topped it with my favorite um, vegan protein yogurt, vegan yogurt, which is the Silk Greek yogurt. It has 10 grams of protein in the whole thing. So obviously I didn't get a full 10 grams of protein because I didn't eat all of it but you guys know I'm not a protein whore and then I topped it with a little bit of almond butter mango which mango is one of my favorite fruits like mango and peaches are but fun fact I am allergic to the skin so we don't buy it very often but when we do buy it my husband has to peel them and he puts them in a container for me <laughs> and then I topped it with some chopped walnuts it was so good I wish I had another one but I would be too full to eat it but you could also add some honey on top if you want. I didn't, I just used that for my matcha. And I just remembered I need to take my vitamin D supplement. I washed out my hair. Obviously it's still drying. I'm almost done putting away the laundry. And the guy came and looked at the water softener and he said everything looked fine, but that the water was incredibly hard. And so he thought maybe it was like a vacuum in the bottom, like there was, because of the humidity in Florida, apparently sometimes that can happen. I don't know. So he thinks he fixed whatever the problem was and hopefully our water will not be as hard anymore. Fit of the day. We are going to pick out tile. I don't know how much I'll be able to show you guys, but I'm gonna try to bring you along. I've been wanting to do this since we moved in. We are redoing our entire kitchen. I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the process. Today, we are looking at tiles quartz for the countertops and backsplashes. This is a little overview of our kitchen currently. Pretty much not my style. Flooring for me is just giving pizza parlor, it's gotta go. I don't like how there's so much space in between the ceiling and the cabinets, so we're planning on bringing the cabinets up higher. I don't like the dark wood with like the blue in the current countertops. And worst of all is this is my backsplash. The previous homeowners put this in and while it is crafty, I hate it. <laughs> minutes yeah. this is what this is our favorite this has probably left me more confused than I was coming here my contractor is gonna hate me because now I want to change basically everything but it's my kitchen so all right you guys hopefully I got some clips I think I got a few they're unfortunately not horizontal they're vertical because I was also filming for TikTok but that like going and looking at stuff i think just made everything more confusing for me originally our um i don't think he's technically an interior designer i but i don't really know what to call him the person that we are working with and the company that we're working with he kind of laid out 
everything and like gave us a quote and I picked from stuff but I picked it online which I wasn't a big fan of so I had them let me come in and see a bunch of the textiles and I ended up changing my mind um, and I'm still not 100% sure. Basically, we're deciding right now between doing um, the top cabinets a different color from the bottom cabinets because I really like the feel. Um, I really like the feel of like multicolored cabinets and a lot of people end up doing that with their island, but we don't have an island. Our kitchen is quite small. So that's not really an option. So I'm just, tr I'm trying to put all of my basically inspiration together into exactly what I want, but I'm gonna show you guys a few of my inspiration pictures. This was my biggest inspiration picture that I showed him and that he kind of played off. I love like the two-toned of the cabinet, so that's where we got that from. However, I really love, like I love that dark color. I also love the base of like that island color. So we're thinking, oh my God. we're thinking top cabinets as cream, bottom cabinets as like this type of pistachio color. And then we're redoing the tile, which I can show you guys a picture of the tile. I, I literally took pictures of everything and I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of the tile. I want wood in my, kitchen however i think i've said this before my entire house is wood except for like the kitchen and the bathrooms but it's a dark wood it's wood that i would not have picked if i had built this house but i don't want to replace all of the wood in the house so if i put light wood in the kitchen i feel like i would have to replace all of the wood in the entire house so it's just not practical right now at a, this point of the fact that we might not stay in this house so we're just putting um this i don't know if you guys if it'll focus we're just putting this type of tile on the floor Ugh, like looking at these pictures just makes it even more confusing for me <laughs> this is the marble granite slab that i think that we are going with and I, I like that. I just, I wish the the floor was wood because I don't want my kitchen to be too white. Like I don't like too white of a kitchen. I just feel like it lacks personality and I want my kitchen to have personality. So I hate that the floors are gonna be tile. And then I'm really trying to decide on the backsplash right now. I think that is the biggest problem that I'm having. We had originally decided on doing this for the backsplash because I thought it was super fun and the original two-tone cabinets that we were doing the bottom was more of a gray I can show you guys that picture as well that he had sent me he had basically like AI'd this stuff together and it looks good don't get me wrong this is originally what we were going for and I do like it I just really want the bottom cabinets to be a color and not just gray so when we were doing that backsplash i thought that the gray that so when we were doing that cabinetry i thought that the that backsplash looked really good however i think it's a little bit too busy right now maybe i love this for backsplash like i'm obsessed with this uh, so I don't I don't know I'm waiting for him to kind of send me over some more stuff so we'll see but I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's getting late it's almost 7 30 and I have to work tomorrow so I'm wrapping up a bunch of content that I filmed today I'm editing that and then I am going to put my phone down for the rest of the night but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I enjoyed making it. I love making my weekends in my life because I feel like I get a lot of content just about my regular life so I will see you guys in the next vlog and I hope you guys have a great day a great week